The Wildcats had a good showing in Chicago last night, but came up just a little bit short of a win against Kansas. Still, UK may have learned a thing or two in the process. Kevin Knox had a terrific game. He finished with 20 points, 7 rebounds, 2 steals, and a blocked shot. But Coach Calipari says he needs to, to do more than just hang around the three-point line waiting for a pass so that he can shoot the tray. We're still trying to get him to, to do the hardest thing. If the ball swings along the perimeter, don't shoot threes. If the ball goes inside and out to you, shoot it. Shoot the three. If it swings along the perimeter, drive it. You get it in the lane, and you shoot that runner. But you're going to get bumped, and you're going to get hit. It's way easier to shoot a three. And so, like even the last play, he probably wasn't ready for that. I just said, we're throwing it to Kevin, you get a shot. How about that? That's great offense. We did it up, throw it to Kevin, get a shot. And I knew it was going to be tough, but I need to put these kids in those situations. Now at the half of last night's game, ESPN's Maria Taylor was interviewing Coach Calipari. He was worked up, talking about how his team needed to rebound, and he was holding her arm tightly. He even asked, am I holding you too tight? She jokingly said, I'm not one of your players. Well, needless to say, Cal received some criticism on social media for that. Maria went on Twitter today to defend Cal. So I see that this whole Coach Cal grabbing my arm thing is taking off on the internet, but I just wanted to address it and say that I've known him since 2012. I love interviewing him. I love his passion for the game. I love the way that he coaches his teams. And I was not offended at all by him grabbing my arm. It was not an awkward moment. We laughed about it and went on about our business. So I hope you can too. Well, after two home wins, the UK women hit the road for the first time this season. Matthew Mitchell's Wildcats play Thursday night at 9 against Montana, and then it's on to Washington State Sunday. We're really approaching it just the same way we would if we were home. We, we have improvements we need to make. There's a lot of improvement we need to make. I'm excited um, and encouraged by what we can become, but we're not there yet. So... Um, you know, every day, every time you have a chance to take the floor and get a little bit better, you need to seize that opportunity and make the most of it. The Eastern Kentucky women went on the road today to get their first win of the season. Colonel's Abby Wright led the way with 18 points as they beat Western Carolina 62-59. EKU now 1-1 one one on the season. Transylvania opened the season tonight against Greenville out of Illinois, a team that likes to press and shoot the three. The Pioneers took advantage, breaking the press to get a wide open Robert Dents a layup. He had 13 points. Again, the break, uh, they break the press, and Drew Trimble drives for an easy, another easy shot. He had 12 in the game, and Gabe Schmidt is going to get a rebound, uh, one of his nine in the game. Then he scores two of his game-high 24. Greenville was 11 of 61 from three-point range as Transy wins, listen to this, 130 to 98. The UK football team has had a tough task ahead of it on Saturday. The Wildcats will take on the former number one team in the country, Georgia, and it will be on the road because of that. UK, a three-touchdown underdog against the Bulldogs team that lost its first game of the season last week. But Steven Johnson says being the underdog is par for the course for his team. That's just been our thing um, since day one. I mean, we, we, no one really counts us in any game, um, it seems like. So, I mean, we were just playing for each other, playing for ourselves, um, and just pushing each other as we go. You can use it as motivation, but do the same thing we've done every week. Um, we, we always come to prepare uh, no matter who we're playing. All right, the LEX 18 High School Sports Zone needs your help to pick among these three games for Friday night. They're big ones. Lexington Christian at Danville, Lexington Catholic at Boyle, and Frederick Douglass at Scott County. Go to the Sports Zone Facebook page, make your vote count, and we'll announce that game. Who wins it tomorrow night at 11? LEX 18 News will be right back.